Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel here. We just have another quick video on backing up your computer, and this time I'm going to be using the third-party software that I personally use to back up my system every day. So stay tuned for this video. If you want to find out how to back up your system, then stay tuned, and please remember to like the, uh, like the video at the end if you liked it, and make sure you do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you want to be notified about any up, upcoming videos and uploads, then please remember to hit that bell notification button so that you get notified on any new videos that I upload. So without further ado, let's get started and let's get at this. So the personal software that I use to back up my system um, is called the Mini Tool Shadow Maker, and I'm, I just use the free version because I don't need anything fancy. But um, to get this software, all I got to do is um, go to minitool.com/backup, and I'll be linking this into the into the description below for you all. And then all you have to do is hit this download freeware button right here, and then it will download onto your system. And if you scroll down a little bit here, they do have a free edition and a pro edition. And this is for uh, Windows. They do have a Mac version right here. And uh, this so uh, software features system backup and restore, files and folders sync, restore to a different computer. So if you get a new computer, you can restore all your all your files and everything. A, a full system image onto a your new computer or a different computer that if you want to use if you have multiple computers um, files and folder backup um, you can change your backup scheme I'll be uh, going over that in the video later on and it also does an automatic backup I think I have mine set to weekly and guides and tips, they do recommend the Samsung M.2 SSD, and that is just so happened to be the um, same M.2 storage drive that I have in my computer. It's just so happened to be that way. I didn't go by this at all, but um, if I click on that here, they'll actually show mine is that same one there. It just, just so happened to be that. But um, I'll go back here and... Just some simple stuff on here. I'll let y'all go through that. I will be linking that into the description below for you all. So let's dive into this software here. It's right here on my desktop. So I'll just double click on that and click yes on the permissions. It's not going to show up for you guys, but it did for me. And it's going to start up here. It just takes a second. It's just initializing drives and stuff. And then if you use um, anything above 1080p monitor, then you're going to want to make this a little bit bigger because the drives will show up a little bit weird. But um, all you have to do to get started is hit this go to manage button here. And then I already have my system set up to do this. But if you don't have your system set up yet, all you got to do is click on add backup right here. And then you can select your destination drive. I do not recommend to save this on the same drive as your operating system is on. It must be in separate or an external drive, or then you're just totally just defeating the whole purpose of it. But I have mine set up on um, my Windows backup drive F right here. But I do have other drives as well. I use this mostly for my games and stuff. And then this is my Windows operating system. I don't back up my games. I mean, what's the point of that? I back up my Windows operating system that has all sensitive files and everything on it. And it also will store a system image as well. And then this is my external hard drive with four terabytes. So that is, I store mostly pictures and YouTube videos on that, that I, when I create my videos. But to start, you're just gonna, gonna click on whatever drive that you want and then click okay. And then it's gonna go through a couple options on timing and stuff. And if you want, um, like sequential storage and stuff like that. It's just going to ask you about time and like what files you want and stuff. Very straightforward. But um, this is my drive right here. This is drive to image. So it's taking my 
um, Windows operating system on drive C, which is always your operating system is C. And then that's taking that into F, which is my backup data here. And that is on the one terabyte backup drive that I have, which is plenty enough for one image on your operating system. And then um, if you click right here, after you have it set up and you can browse, restore, mount, and all these different ones. And if you browse here, then you can um, select a backup version that you have. So the most current one is on 11.16, which was just a few days ago. This I have mine set to backup um, weekly. So if you click on that there and then you press next, oops, and then you press next, then you can um, select files from the selected drive image to restore. So if you select your operating system here, which is Windows OS, this is the entirety of your operating system here, and then press finish, then it, or you can export it to a different drive if you're cloning your drive or something, you can do that. And then press finish, and that's going to restore all your files and operating system to that date. So it's just like Windows Restore is just going to restore your computer to that date. And then you can go from there if you have some type of system error. Um, I'm not going to be going through that in this video. So I'm just in this video, I'm just showing you the software I use and like how to set it up and some of the features of it and stuff. But um, that was Restore here, so you can restore it. But then if you click on it again, you can edit your scheme as well. Right now I have mine set to incremental. So it stores one full disk image, the full hard drive or whatever you have as your operating system. Mine's an M.2, but it stores the entirety of that um, drive. And then it will store, I have mine set as three. So it stores one full one and two incremental. So it will store like half copies of the that drive. So it says right here, group consists of one full backup and multiple incremental backups. When a later group joins in, the former group has to, has to be removed from that queue. So as it stores one full backup, then it stores two incrementals. And then it will delete the full backup and have one full backup again. And then it will delete the two incrementals and then restore it again with another full two incrementals. You can have it as a full backup every time, but that again, you have to have the pro version for that. I mean, I don't really need a full backup every time. That's kind of pointless. Unless you run a business or something and you need files from a long time ago. And then you also have differential as well. Differential is going to be storing a full backup, full backup, and then, then many incrementals. And then it just goes through the same thing. I have mine set to three because that just saves me on space and stuff. And I can show you my actual drive right here. The Windows backup drive F. And then it's going to show up backup data right here. And then it's going to have all these different numbers and stuff. And then you're going to see there's your full backup here. And then you have two incremental backups. The full backup is very large. Of course, as it's going to be your full system, it's 274 gigabytes. And then the incrementals are going to be much smaller at 30 gigs. That's just going to be storing all the small files that you change in your system. The full backup is the full system image. That's what you're going to be restoring your computer from if you ever run into an error. But some other options here, you can verify your backups. So if you want to verify at a date here, so that's the full system image here, you press next. And then it's going to verify and performing image here. Verify if image file is just going to make sure it's all good to go. That is going to take a while, so I'm just going to cancel that. And um, I'll just exit out of that. So it's just going to verify that the image is good to go for if you needed to restore for any reason. Just going to make sure it's all good. And you can also delete this. And then you can reestablish a new backup. 
You can edit your schedule as well. I have mine set to weekly on Monday, and that's at midnight. That's just what I do because it just falls into my schedule that way. You can also have it do daily, monthly, or on an event, which if you want to do on an event, you have to have pro, daily, weekly, and monthly. You can select your day here. I just have it set to weekly because that just works best for me. But you can choose whatever you want. And then you can locate your image. This is going to pull up your um, file sit browser here. Just going to pull up the same file that I have already showed you. Like I said, these are full system images with two incrementals. It's going to be a very large storage, so I recommend at least a terabyte for your backup drive. At least a terabyte because they are very large and it's also going to take a while. So I would um, recommend to back up your system at a time where you're not using your computer because it's going to take a long time. Um, so you got some options up here. You got logs. You got all the logs of um, when your computer up or uh, when your computer backed up itself. You got all times, started time, ending time, created time, time consumed here, result, and ending error messages. So this right here was... I think that was the full backup on 11.2. That was a full backup and it took 56 minutes. So that's coming from an N.2 to a hard drive. And you got some tools here. You got a media builder. So it will take the image from your um, backups and it will create a media drive where you can do, use that to um, boot a fresh copy of your computer onto a new computer. Or if you have problems with your computer, you can install a clean, fresh copy of Windows with the same system that you were that you were using. So all your files, everything that you were using is going to be all on there. You can also add a boot menu as well. So as you boot your computer, after it goes through the motherboard screen, then it will pull up a uh, mini tool screen. I have this set up on my computer where you can select Windows 10 and after 30 seconds, it will automatically select Windows 10 for you, so you don't have to worry about that. But there'll be two options, Windows 10, and it will also have um, Shadow Maker on there as well. So if you need to restore your computer from there, you can do that. You can mount and dismount your drives as needed. You can clone your a disk, so I can clone my disk onto any other disk. PXE is going to be um, remotely controlling another computer. For that, you will have to have Pro. So you can, if you have a server or something in your, in your home, you can remotely control backups onto different computers. And this is a terminal here. It's going to be the same, same kind of thing. And then you have command line interface, which is going to be like for server systems and stuff. You have command line routing. And then there's a feedback tab here, and then you can manage all your drives. You can restore. From here, you can just press restore and it will restore your system back to 11.16. Um, you can also sync, so you can change your sources and your destination folders here. Um, so if you want specific folders, you can select a, sp a specific source going to the same backup. But um, this will ba automatically backup everything on your computer from that C drive, so you don't have to worry about specific things. You can back up here, so you, this is my C drive. Then you can have that automatically back up to my backup drive. That's perfect. Then you can schedule and scheme it here, and options and backup now. The options right here, file sizes, you can select custom sizes, compression, you can also compress it if you want to save some space. You can comment the uh, restores if you want a comment on them. So if you run a business or something, you can select instructions here on what to do. Emails, so if you need to email, then you can send a notification by an email. You can exclude anything. Shut down after the backup is completed. You can password protect them as well. And then you can verify that after backup is created and verify that it's good to go. Image creation, 
you can copy sectors of the file system or you can extract copy of partitions specifically. So this goes way more in depth than the Windows backup system does. So I just, I wanted to go through. This is what I personally use as my backup um, software. So I just wanted to share that with y'all on one really good third-party software. And with the pro version, you can do a whole bunch more stuff. And then you can go home here and it's going to show you the same thing. And then they also have a manual here that's going to bring them to, it's going to bring you to their web page and it's going to go through a whole bunch of different stuff on how to use it and everything. You got all these different options right here. So, um, I think that's about it for this video. I will be linking everything into the description below for you all. And I wanted to share with you what I personally use as my backup software. And I hope you all find this video helpful. And um, if you actually install the software and set up your backup, please let me know down in the comments if I can help out by any means. Um, and my email, my personal email is also in my about section on my channel. So if you have a specific question, then just shoot me a personal email and I'll respond to you as quickly as I can. Um, and, but I think that's about it for this video. If y'all like the video, please give it a thumbs up for me and please hit that bell notification icon if you want to be notified about any future videos that I put out. And please remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That helps me a lot. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. And if, again, let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this video and if you want me to do something specific, and if you actually installed Shadowmaker, let me know. And if I can help you, shoot me an email. And that's all I have for this video. I hope you all enjoyed, and I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and peace out.